All Academy. Always with you. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this online video lecture on basic thermodynamics. So, in the previous sessions, we have discussed the the theory concepts of the module one, that is fundamental concepts and the definitions. That is. So, in this video, we'll going to solve or we'll going to start with a simple numericals on temperature measurement concepts and its relations. So, without wasting much time, let us begin with a session. So, the first problem statement is a uh, readings T A and T B of two Celsius thermometers. A and B agrees well at ice point 0 degree and steam point 100 degree. The temperatures are related by T A is equals to P plus Q plus T B plus R T B square where P Q are constants. When two thermometers are immersed in a stirred oil bath while A reads 51 degree Celsius, B reads 50 degree Celsius. Determine what A reads when B reads 25 degree. So in this numerical statement, we need to identify the constants P, Q, R. Along with that, we need to also identify the temperature on thermometer A when B reads 25 degrees Celsius on thermometer B. Now let us take the given equation in this numerical. That is, I'll just write here, given. So what are the given things? So ice point is given. That is, ice point is given that is 0 degree Celsius and steam point is given 100 degree Celsius then we have a thermometric equation the temperature relationship between A and B that is T A will be equals to P plus Q T B plus R T B square so this is a thermometric relation between A and B thermometer then also when these thermometers are dipped in uh, an oil bath so A reads that is so A that is I'll just so A reads T A that is T A reads 51 degree Celsius and T B reads 50 degree Celsius. Okay. Now we need to identify we need to identify the temperature that is T A temperature we need to identify at or when T B shows 25 degree Celsius. We need to identify T A when T B shows 25 degree Celsius. Let us put the ice point and steam points in the equation 1. So, I will consider this as an equation 1. Okay. Let us put the steam point and ice points in equation 1. So, the what is our ice point and steam point 0 degree we need to put it in our T A and T B again uh, we need to put a 0 degree as well as 100 degree Celsius. So first at ice point, ice point that is T A equals to 0 and T B will be equals to 0. Now equation 1 that is 0 will be equals to P plus Q T B as 0 plus R 0 square. Now from this equation we can get P will be equals to 0. We got P is equals to 0. Now similarly for steam point we will put it 100 degree that is at at steam point steam point that is T A as 100 and T B as 100. Now equation that is 100 will be equals to the p value already we identified that is 0 plus q value is unknown then 100 plus r value is unknown constant then again it will be 100 square if you simplify this equation if i take 100 uh, as a common then i will get equation 1 will be equals to q plus r into 100 so this is take, i'll take an equation 2 now we have a equation, we have a temperature that is a T A that is 51 degree Celsius and T B we have 50 degree Celsius and we need to put these values in equation 1 and 2 but we need, we don't have R value and Q value. Now that will be identified in the other steps. Now what is our equation that is T A will be equals to P plus 
q t b plus r t b square now t a is 51 degree celsius 51 degree celsius will be equals to p value is 0 then q value we don't know t b as 50 then again r 50 square okay now if i simplify this equation i'll just uh, 51 by 50 i'll take 50 as a common then it will be q plus r 50 that will be equals to 1.02 will be equals to q plus r 50 okay now i'll consider this equation as 3 okay now this equation is 3 now simplifying equation 2 and 3 so what is our equation 2 that is 1 plus q plus uh, r into 100 that is equation 2 and 3 now simplifying equation now from equation 2 and 3 that is 1 will be equals to q plus r 100 and again 1.02 1.02 will be equals to q plus r 50 if i simplify this one so it will be 0 point minus 0 point 0 0.02 will be equals to this q will be get cancels r 50 now r will be equals to minus point 0 0.02 divided by 50 then r will be equals to minus 0 0.004 so this is our r value now let us substitute the same r value in any one of this equation i will just take this equation so that is 1 will be equals to because q is our no term plus r value we have identified that is minus 0 0.0004 into 100 okay now if i simplify this equation i will get q is will be equals to 1.04 now these are the three unknown constants we have identified okay p we have identified q identified then r we have identified but we need to identify the temperature when thermometer thermometer b reads when thermometer b reads 25 degree what will be the temperature of a for that we need to again we have to consider the same equation that is t will be t a will be equals to p plus q t b plus that is r t b square now we have uh, t b so we have p value we have 0 then we have identified q value that is 1.04 then we have identified r value that is minus 0 0.0004 then we have the t b value which is given in the numerical statement that is a problem statement that is 25 25 degree celsius we have already this now let us substitute these value in our equation 1 that is t a will be equals to 0 plus q value 1.04 then into t b as 25 plus r value i'll just write it in our bracket 0 0.0004 into t b is 25 square if i simplify this equation i will get t a that is temperature A as 25.75 degree Celsius. Now this is our final answer. Okay. Now I can write it. When thermometer A or thermometer B shows 25 degree Celsius, the thermometer B shows 20 sorry thermometer a shows 25.75 degree celsius so this is our final answer now how the marks will be distributed in this one so let us look into that so when you are in your uh, examination the marks will be given for each and every steps so that we'll see now for identification of the q value you will get two marks then in the next step when you identify the value of r value here you will get uh, two marks then again when you identify the q value here you will get two marks then finally for uh, the identification of temperature here you will get two marks so, so, so let us solve the one more numerical 
and this question is asked in the previous university examination for 8 marks the temperature on thermometer is defined as t equals to a ln k plus b where a and b are the constant and the value of k are found to be 1.83 and 6.78 at 0 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius respectively calculate the temperature when value k is equals to 2.47 now this question is asked for 8 marks in your previous university examination and here the the temperature equation is given in this equation so we'll solve we'll write a given data given so in this equation we have a temperature is equal to t equals to a ln k plus b you have a the temperature equation now and also we have a k equation that is at a, so k at 0 degree celsius it is 1.83 and the value of k at 100 degree celsius it is a 6.78 now we need to identify the temperature at k is equals to 2.42 we need to identify the temperature uh, at 2.k equals to 2.42 now to identify the temperature we need to first identify the constant a and b so we need to identify constant a and b now as clearly it is mentioned in the temperature the k value for steam point and ice point so let us take temperature that is directly substitute in this equation now at ice point ice point that is 0 will be equals to a ln 1.83 plus b similarly at steam point similarly at steam point that is 100 will be equals to a ln 6.8 plus b now if i simplify these two equations that is the steam point equation as well as ice point equation i will get a uh, one constant term i'll just try rewrite here will be equals to a ln 1.83 plus b then 100 a ln 6.8 plus b now if i simplify these equation so i will get minus 100 will be equals to a ln so this is ln 1.83 minus ln 6.78 now after simplifying i will get a a value that is a value i will get it so if you just uh, ln 1.83 value is 0 0.628 and ln uh, 6.78 value is 1.913 so after simplifying that so the a value you will get it around 77.052 that is a value 77.0525 so this is a a constant term one thing we have identified the next we need to identify the constant b value now let us substitute this uh, a value in any one equation among these so i will just put in this equation that is steam point equation so what is our steam point equation that is zero will be equals to lan that is a 1.83 plus b now the a value we have identified that is zero will be equals to 77.0525 lan 1.83 plus b if i simplify that whole term i will get b constant b value as minus 47.816 so i got the constant b value now the main thing is we need to identify the temperature now we need to identify temperature that is t we need to identify at k will be equals to 2.42 let us substitute all these constants value along with the k value in equation 1 that is t will be equals to a ln k plus b now t will be equals to a value is 77.0525 then ln that is 2.42 plus b value is minus 47.816 if i simplify this equation and the LAN 2.2 uh, value, so I'll just write it, T will be equals to 77.0525 into the LAN 2.42 value is 
zero point eight zero point eight eight three so that is zero point eight eight three plus uh, just I'll write it minus forty seven point eight six one six. If I simplify this, I will get temperature the final temperature value that is on twenty two point seven eight degree Celsius. Now this is our final equation. Now the Marx distribution for this question will be Marx distribution. Uh, how the Marx will be distributed? Now for identification of constant value, two Marx. Then here the identification of constant B again two Marx. Now for identification of temperature, so it will be given four Marx. If it is for eight Marx, two two four, and if it is asked for six Marx, so this question here at the end two four Marx or two Marx based on the uh, total Marx, so it will be distributed. So hope dear students, the whatever the numericals we solved in today's session, so you have understood. In the next video also we will solve some other important numericals which are appeared in a, our previous university examination. If you are having any doubts in these numericals, so please do comment it and we'll try to clarify your doubts. Click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from All Academy.